Good morning, Year 11. It's Friday the 15th of January. This is Mr Perkin. Welcome to Form Time. Um, I'm going to give you a few key messages this morning. Um, first of all, I'd like to say well done. Well done on your attendance and your engagement this week. It's been impressive and I would like you to keep it up. Many of you have been on at 8.55 for your form time. You've engaged well throughout the day. You've stuck it out. You've got to the end of the day. You've done all of your lessons online and I'd like you to continue with that, please. Um, your teachers have been marking your mock exam papers um, uh, over the past weeks. Um, they've already been planning lessons to help you make further progress um, and they will continue to do that for you. Um, you will be receiving your working grade and um, that will obviously include the outcomes of your mock exam if you sat one and you will be receiving your estimated grade for those subjects that you study in due course. However, I'm going to ask you to be patient with that, please. You will have to wait um, for at least another week or so. All your teachers do want you to make progress between now and the end of the academic year, and they are going to do absolutely everything that they can during this lockdown and during your time online to ensure that you are given every opportunity to do that. You've still got to work towards your goals uh, and to try to get to where you want to be in September 2021. So I still want you to be of that mindset, please. I want you to be of that mindset that you are going to make progress and that you are going to try and achieve what you want to achieve during the rest of the academic year and get to where you want to be in September. You are all in a position, therefore, to make further progress. And it's very important that you know that that is the case. Yes, you have a baseline from your mock exam. Yes, you have baselines from assessments that you've sat in some of your vocational qualifications. But in all of your subjects, you are still in a position where you can make further progress. And it's very important that you keep that at the forefront of your mind. We have a team of people at Newman RC College who are committed to you and are committed to helping you make progress. So these are our promises to you. We're providing you with a full timetable of remote lessons. Every single lesson that you would have had if you'd have been in school will take place, but obviously it will be online and it will be remote. So after form time every day, you will be provided with the lessons that you would have received. We're gonna try in those lessons to cover the remained planned syllabus and planned curriculum for each of those subjects that you study. I know that some of you will want to finish those syllabus and curriculum because you are going on then to study them at A level or you are going on to study a level three course in those subjects, but we are committed to covering the rest of what you need to know and what you need to learn and the skills you need to develop. Your lessons therefore will enable you to make further progress from where you are now and we are committed to ensuring that you do so. We'll let you know of any changes to the courses that you are taking. So if there are any further amendments and we need to adjust things, we will let you know. We'll let you know how you will be assessed in your subjects. Obviously, we'll only know that when it's been decided by Ofqual and communicated to us. There is a consultation that starts uh, next Monday that will last at least two weeks. So we won't know any more for at least another two or three weeks. But we will work when we know how you are going to be assessed and all the indications are at the moment that you will be assessed in your subjects and we will let you know how we are going to plan that when it's been communicated to us. We will support your mental health and well-being through form time. We will give you further information, advice and guidance on your, post, uh, your progression to post-16 education and training. And I just want to make sure that you understand from all of this, we have not given up on a single one of you making further progress over the coming months. Just going back to the point there um, about careers, information, advice and guidance, you all know Joanna. 
Um, you can contact Joanna via email. She's got a school email address and on her mobile phone. Um, if you are um, concerned about any college or sixth form applications that you've made and you've not heard anything or you want to know anything more um, about applications, about apprenticeships, we will be putting on an apprenticeship session in March. And if you've spoken to her already about that, then um, you will be invited. Um, and also many of you will be coming up to having some kind of interview for uh, post-16 progression. So she's there for you and she can help you if you want to contact her. I know that many of you at the moment will be feeling some of those words that you can see on the screen now. Um, it's not the best of times, especially during this lockdown period. Um, and we want to be able to support your mental health and your well-being. We have put in place an email address that you can contact should you have concerns or you've got questions or you want to sort of speak to somebody about a particular problem that you might have, how you're feeling. So um, here for you, Year 11, we really are here for you, Year 11. Um, that email address you can contact at any time. We're hoping that that will um, help you in balancing some of those problems that you've got and those concerns you've got um, with um, the way in which you obviously need to um, cope during the current times. Okay, I'd like to finish with a prayer. Um, a lot of what I've said um, today um, has been about keeping going, about being motivated, being determined, um, and um, you know, getting to where you want to be and making further progress from where you are now. So this is a prayer from uh, Corinthians. If you can make the sign of the cross, please. Oh Lord, I thank you for being the creator of motivation and determination. So Father, I pray that although it seems hard at times, I will remember that you in your mercy have made a way for me. Nothing is impossible with you. Therefore, I choose not to give up. I choose not to be shaken by what I see or feel in the moment. So Lord, I thank you for motivation, determination, compassion, your divine nature. St. John Henry Newman, pray for us. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Year 11. Keep going. Try to stay motivated, please. Be determined and make sure that you give yourself every opportunity to make further progress. Have a good day.